G'day guys, Mac with the Outer Circle. I have an interesting episode here for you today. Yes, I've been rather quiet lately, uh, with Christmas coming up and running the factory, just being too busy really to do anything, um, very long days and just too much on. That said, I have been trying to put together a video and hopefully this video today is something you'll all enjoy. When I record episode after episode after episode condemning my favourite franchises, I have to ask myself, why am I so negative? Am I just a total fucking killjoy? Well, probably, but I decided to sit down and try and quantify what media like The Hobbit, Star Wars, 40k, Star Trek are all doing so wrong in my eyes, and in more broad terms. You see, it turns out there's actually a few threads to pull on here. And although you may never be able to make a film or story that pleases everyone, I think if you can at least please a lot of people, um, if you take on board these ideas I'm going to share today. So, firstly and majorly, it's not the gender politics or social justice bullshit that's bringing our movies and media down. Don't get me wrong, those are huge problems, but they aren't the worst part. There's four things, and although that's one of them, it's further down the list. The very first worst part is our own suspension of disbelief. You see, we know what can and can't be done in real life, and obviously in movies you have to stretch this. Some films, like Die Hard, start out being pretty damn believable, but by the time of films like Die Hard 5, the characters are doing things which no normal person would uh, ever conceive of, and it takes you out of the film or book you're reading right then and there. Now. The natural counter to this argument that idiots always bring up is, oh, it's a sci-fi or fantasy universe, therefore stupid idea X is okay. I fucking despise this answer. Because unless that universe sets it up in the ground rules, then no, it's not okay. Every book and film has its own universal laws which govern it. Ask yourself, does the Lord of the Rings feel real to you? If you look past the dragons and wizards, you can see a world which conforms to otherwise normal physics, architecture, languages, cultures, everything makes sense. So with that in mind, contrast the stairs in Khazad Dum with Legolas sleeping along falling rocks in The Hobbit in his final duel with Bol, and does that fit into the same world as established? No, of course it doesn't. It's fucking horrible. By the same token, in Star Wars, capital ships have shields. Shields that protect the capital ships until the shields themselves are taken out. In The Last Jedi, the shields only stop long-ranged lasers for some reason. Does that seem to make sense? Of course not, because seven other movies in the franchise establish that although you might get a starship um, through the shields, your weapons will be practically ineffective when shot into the capital ship. Whether it's the Phantom Menace where shooting the outside of the Trade Federation ship does nothing and Anakin had to fly into it, I hate the movie, but it at least followed the rules. Or whether it's having to take out the shield generators on the Super Star Destroyer before that A-Wing crashed through the bridge. It's established that you have to destroy the shields. In Last Jedi, you just fly through them, shoot up the ship. Why even have the shields then, if that's how it's going to work? This is the first and most major thing that breaks the fandom. When you break the established rules. Second along the list of bad ideas is contrived plots. Yes, whilst uh, filmmakers like uh, Hitchcock said that sometimes you have to use a little artistic license to make a story work. I'm, I am paraphrasing here. You have to be very subtle with it. Make it so the plot holes are a little less glaring. When you have a horror film and the victim doesn't call the police, that's irritating as fuck. But in the original slasher film, Halloween, 
Lori tries to call the police, but the phone is out. Mike Myers has taken out the phone lines. Instantly, you've just closed a major pothole, so it doesn't piss you off. In The Last Jedi, Admiral Holdo won't tell Poe Dameron her plan. Now, as a military man myself, if the upper command structure was just wiped out, I'd be trying to form a new command chain by bringing the most senior officers and NCOs in. I wouldn't be telling them to fuck off because they have an attitude. Further to this, the Admiral could have simply stated a line such as, I'm sorry. The First Order could be tracking us through hyperspace thanks to a traitor within our ranks. Until it's ruled out, all information is on a strictly need-to-know basis. Such a line removes the audience questioning the plot straight fucking away. It's really that simple. You can close up your own plot holes. And it's something that a lot of stories lately haven't been doing. Now thirdly, we get to the social justice rats. I love me some good women in my media. Problem is, 90% of writers are hacks, and they can't make a woman great unless they bring a man down to do it. The best women in cinema are strong on their own merits. Ellen Ripley and Sarah Connor don't have to put men down, they step up to a challenge. If you want a more recent example, take Judge Anderson in the 2012 film Dread, a personal fucking favourite film. Dread needs a sequel. She starts out as a green rookie, shaking with a gun in her hand, clearly struggling to make the hard decisions. But over the course of the film, she starts to mould into Dread himself, becoming more cold, more ruthless, because her survival is on the line. She starts using her wits, her wits and brains as much as any weapon. A good female character doesn't need to be pointed out to the fucking audience. You either trust the audience to respond to them or not. Writing your BuzzFeed articles about women in charge is cringe-inducing and politicises media. Star Trek Discovery fell into this because not only is it shit, because it broke rules 1 and 2, but it makes a big deal of a female captain and a black main character and other nonsense, which is insulting and both ignores Kate Mulgrew from Voyager and Avery Brooks from Deep Space Nine, who were a female captain and a black captain respectively. That dumb social justice shit just pisses everyone off. The fourth thing, and the last thing, is extreme lapses in common sense. If I see a ship, such as, I don't know, a rebel ship in a recent Star Wars movie, flying away from a pursuing fleet at sublight speeds, and it's established that the enemy has an FTL capability or faster than light, you better have a damn good reason why the people chasing them don't just jump slightly in front and trap your ships in a fucking pincer. Honestly. I don't want to keep picking on Star Wars, but Jesus did I dislike The Last Jedi. So, with all of this in mind, let's look to our own hobby. Does the recent lore of 40k break one or more of the four golden rules I've established? The most importantly, does it break the rules of the established lore? Are there contrived plot or plots um, within the story which have gaping holes. Are females and minorities put into the story just for the sake of it, or do they actually contribute to the story justifying their existence? And if so, are they a character with their own merits beyond their skin colour and their gender? And lastly, do the characters within the story make retarded decisions which snap you out of the story? I think that you can sum up most of the problems in our current entertainment platforms just by matching these examples to different situations. Anyway, please comment below if you agree or disagree. Hopefully um, I've enlightened a few people um, that watch the show and you'll be able to sort of look at films and just say, you know, this thing shits me because it does this or this thing shits me because it does this and why did this do this? Which is often where a lot of these things fall apart. It's not about the exact lines people say in films or things like that necessarily. It's just they fail to take into account these four big factors. And really, I think that's that simple. If you can do these four things, don't break your law. Don't contrive your plot. Or if you do, at least cover up the plot holes. Put decent females and minorities into the stories, but where appropriate. When you talk about things like Space Marines, it doesn't matter whether they're black or white. All that matters is they're a space marine, therefore, don't bring up the race. 
it doesn't fucking matter unless maybe I don't know they're a salamander maybe even then shouldn't matter and don't make characters do retarded shit to help with your contrived plot because that will just piss your audience off anyway I'm Maka with the Outer Circle thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time